Shalom, all men's working with no praise to Yahweh. By Shrimp Yahweh Shah, by Shrimp Bachak Adas. The bond to the house of TMS will rule outside takes two arguments out there, pushing the bird to the city, risking your freedom and your life to do so. Uh, especially in the times that we're in now. Um, because it's, you know, for a very long time, it's never been a time like, you know, how it is now, man. So, you know, brothers that preach, send out their videos. We're on the four corners, you know, on every corner of uh, every major city in the world. You're risking your life and your freedom to push this word, okay? And, um, you know, that scene was first started with, you know, the elder in Chicago, and it made sense, man. So, I've, you know, during every video, I'll say, uh, so it takes two arguments, uh, risking your freedom and your life to push this word. But um, as you can see, man, we got another video from rt.com entitled generation warrant of food shortages and inflation now it was warned but we're living in it now uh, you know inflation is when um the value of your dollar becomes weaker so it takes more dollars to purchase something that previously took fewer dollars for instance over 50 years ago a gallon of milk might have cost, you know, anywhere between, and I'm just throwing a number out there, 2 to $3. Now, you know, a gallon of milk is how much? I don't even drink milk. But if I did, how much would it cost? What, 7 6 $7? If not 8 in certain places, if you get organic, then you, you're paying up to 9 to $10, you know, for a gallon of milk. And, and, and you know, if you have a family... You know, little, little children or children, period, that you're taking care of, that can add up very quickly. You know, your budget would specifically go to transportation from wh where you are to your job, uh, transportation, rent, and, 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 um, and, and basic necessities like food. So the price of everything is going up. And food shortages is also going to cause a spike in prices. And, According to the Bible, this is biblical, okay? The Most High is sending plagues, and this is a part of the plagues. So we're going to read a little bit of this, and then um, we're going to get the scriptures. It says, um, Entitled Generation Warn of Food Shortages and Inflation. The president of multi-trillion dollar asset fund has told U.S. citizens to expect a drop in living standards. Right? What does it mean? Okay, you know, the nice cushy job you got now making 60, 65 a year. Or uh, seventy thousand, which most people don't make seventy thousand. Most people make around thirty-five to forty thousand a year. That's only enough money after taxes, because they kill you with taxes. To to like I said, rent, transportation, and food, and really, uh, you got a roommate with somebody. You can't even live by yourself. Which is um, a further is further dropping your standard standard of life, you know the white picket fence with the backyard and a, and, a, and a two two and a half family with two car garage, them days is over with, you see. It takes two people making a hundred thousand dollars a year with no children to actually live the American dream now, you see. So it says uh, the president of a multi trillion dollar asset fund has told. U.S. citizens to expect a drop in living standards. BlackRock, BlackRock is a multi-trillion dollar um, fund in Wall Street. They own them and everything. But it says BlackRock President Rob Capito told oil and gas executive, and, and mind you, this is only affecting the common Americans, okay? The average salary Americans, the middle class Americans, okay? The average people. It's not affecting uh you know upper class uh, higher class people okay the one percent is not affecting the wealthy of the nation it's affecting the lower class so it says um black rock president rob capito told oil and gas executives on tuesday that entitled americans uh, a title bastard they speak wickedly concerning oppression entitled americans are to deal with shortages of food and other goods is to prepare accordingly. BlackRock, which manages $10 trillion in assets, has been accused of making home ownership unaffordable for millions of Americans. 
uh, millions of citizens, right? And they and they absolutely did. If you look up right now, I believe it's um, Zillow and how BlackRock investors bought up uh, a lot of homes on Zillow, and then they 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 price gouged, they gouged, meaning they shot the price up to where it was unaffordable for most Americans. You know, paying four hundred thousand dollars uh, for a house on a mortgage. Where every month you have to spend a total of what twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars for principal and interest that 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 would kill the average American pockets. That's just for interest and and principal a month. So that would kill the average American's pockets to where that's unaffordable. Most people are not bringing in three thousand dollars a month. Most people are not bringing in two thousand dollars a month. That's the majority of Americans. You see, so it said um, for the first time, this generation is going to go into store and not be able to get what they want. Capito told a meeting of Texas Independent Producers and Royalties Owners Association. And we have a very entitled generation that has never had to sacrifice. I will put on your seatbelts because this is something that we haven't seen. Capito added, warning that Americans will soon face scarcity inflation or rising prices compounded by shortages of everything from food and consumer goods to oil and gases, okay? So what does that mean? Your heating bill is going to skyrocket. That means um, uh, trucks is gonna uh, trucks that bring in our supplies and things like that. That's gonna go up. So that means your cost of living is gonna um, go up. Meaning your rent's gonna go up. Your gas bill is gonna go up. Your water bill is gonna go up. When you go to the grocery store, that's gonna go up. You know. Then uh, you know monthly grocery shopping used to take you know six hundred dollars for three people. Now it's six hundred dollars for one person. And I did the math. I actually spent about six hundred dollars a, a one month. Uh, before uh, on food, man. So it's not that it's coming; it's already here. Let's get the scriptures. This is um, Second Ezra sixteen, uh, seventeen. It says Second Ezra sixteen and seventeen. Woe is me! Woe is me! Who would deliver me in those days? And this is uh, what Ezra is saying because he had got the vision uh, from the Lord of uh, what would take place. An end time before, you know, Yahweh Shah arrived before Yahweh sent his son Yahweh Shah to redeem Israel from the hands of our oppressors. This is one of the plagues that he was sent, and he gave Ezra the vision. So Ezra is in verse 17 of Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, is crying to the Lord, saying, Woe is me, meaning, you know, you know, like destruction in me, like, you know, kill me, kill me, man. You know, because death would be better than what he was seeing. Woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? The beginning, verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, mourning meaning sadness, contemptu uh, contemptuous, um, you know, distress, depression, you know, a great mornings is great depression, right? The beginning of famine and great death, meaning what is a fool uh, shortage? A famine. Uh, the beginning of wars, we're in war now. And the powers so stand in fear, right? And who are the powers? You know, people that run America, people that run China, Russia, they're standing in fear because they figure, oh shit, you know, this thing could go nuclear or this thing could do this and this and that, that, that. You know? They see what's going down the pipeline and they're worried because it's soon to affect them too, you see? The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? And we know what. We should do, you know, brothers and sisters in the know, you know, first giving all honors and prayers to how about you outside because his hands is not too short to save us from these times that we're coming into. But don't get it twisted, uh, brothers and sisters. We will have to go through that fire. We're all going to get affected, okay? This is something that's going to go on throughout the whole entire world, you know, like the scriptures say. Um, I should save them. Um, uh, um, roughly paraphrasing. Uh, the tribulation that should come throughout the whole earth. Okay, so we have to have our faith in the Lord. Verse 19, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, meaning punishments for disobedience of the Heavenly Father's laws. And we know that this world is full of disobedience. Why? Because Job 9 verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. 
and cover the faces of the judges thereof. There's a light. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American. If not, where and who is he? You see? So, uh, verse 20, Before all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scores is right. So even though all this is going on, you know, they're still going to live on in wickedness. They're still going to have gay pride holidays. They're still going to, um, you know, worship on Sunday churches. They're still going to kill a uh, so-called Negro, Latino, the Native American, oppress our people. Okay? They're still going to hold Thanksgiving and Christmas. They're still not going to give us reparation. For all these things that's going to come, they're still not going to repent from their evils. Okay? So that's why the Lord is bringing us, you know, don't get it twisted. And it says, um, I will put on, uh, the Biden administration have blamed spiraling inflation on Russia's military offensive in Ukraine with White House communication, communications director Kate Bedingfield referring on Tuesday to Putin's price hike. And Biden himself said earlier this month that there would be costs at home as we impose crippling sanctions on, on Russia, which we have no business getting in, uh, quote unquote, not we, as in I'm speaking of, I'm a part of it, we're not. But if you want to get technical, America has no business butting in, in Russia and Ukraine situation to affect us, quote unquote, us Americans, quote unquote, okay? But that's the whole gender, man. Pressure from above, pressure from below, like our elders say. To eventually get you, you, you Americans chipped up. So I'm not gonna read the whole thing. There's a lot, and I'm kind of pressed for time. But um, like I said, um, go rewind. Uh, oh, so look, look, last paragraph, and I'm gonna close it out. Americans are expected to bear the brunt of the inflation. Capito warned about the immediate term. According to the estimates published by Bloomberg on Tuesday, the average U.S. household will have to spend an extra $5,200 this year for the same basket of consumer goods. Wages are unlikely to rise, rise to compensate for their expenditure, Bloomberg predicted due to more Americans entering the labor force. Wow, look at that. So more Americans enter in the labor force. Why would they rise the um the salaries? You see. But before, when you had women and children staying at home, they had no choice but to pay you, you know, a, a good salary because because it was women and children at home. But now everybody had to work. You know what I'm saying? So, but they said the average American is going to spend five thousand two hundred dollars more uh, on consumer goods. So if you was paying five thousand before, you're paying ten thousand dollars a year for consumer goods. So you know the bar, restaurant, all that, all them luxuries is done. It's about to be done. So you know with that, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh. By Shem Yisrael, by Shem Chakadas. The monster. I'll just salutation to Yaakov. Shalom. Till next time.